A Boeing state has been known before 2015 as one of the backward states in Nigeria. This owes to the state of infrastructure, social and economic conditions, educational level and perceived status in the committee of state. Today, the story has changed. A Boeing has overtaken many states in every aspect. This turnaround became significant with the inception of the administration of engineer David Mweze Omahi, a man with a vision to rewrite the toga of backwardness hitherto won by a Boeing state. This celebration of transformation is directly linked to a man that came with a track record of excellence, having been a state party chairman, deputy governor, and having traversed the state and knows where it pinches the people. It is linked to a man that made mind-blowing promises during his inauguration, which people thought were mere promises, as is associated with politicians in the third world countries, but came to be a promise of a visionary and God-fearing leader of inestimable value, who is not a politician as seen in developing countries, but a gifted leader whose mission is to lift his people from poverty to prosperity. Governor David Weza Umahi proved to be different as it wasn't long after his inauguration that people began to see in him a man who deployed his ingenuity and professional skills to carve a niche for himself and make a great difference that sends heartwarming signals to the world that Nigeria can be great after all. His actions, policies, programs, and projects have now rewritten the sad history of this geographical area called a Boeing State. Today, the state towers in the Committee of State in every aspect. We are determined to form a government bringing with creative ideas and innovative energy. A government that is lean, mobile, and effective. A government that will make the people aspiration at the point of their need. A government that will listen and absorb the wisdom and counsel that will come from all citizens, young and old. We shall strive with our mightiest effort to give meaning to the concept of government of the people, by the people, and for the people. He's very methodical. He's going step by step, remi reminding himself, remembering what he has said and what he's going to do, and he does them. He's brought road. Have you seen the road? Have you seen anything so thick? Here we are, and we're seeing real infrastructure. But thank God we have a governor who knows better. And he's bringing such roads now, which will last more than 100 years. In Nigeria today, I'm a nationalist. I've gone around, including my friends, somebody like Tambu Adam. They're not doing half of what my governor is doing. And in Nigeria today, I think he is ranking first. I came here last 19, yeah, 2000. About 17 years ago, the place changed. From anywhere, everywhere changed. Change, the cleanness, orderliness, truth. Yeah, the governor is very happy that we are doing what we are sent here to do. Have you seen what is happening in the neighboring state? My heart is shocking. <laughs> I congratulated him for what he is doing. He is rising up to stand up for us. We respect him with all his knowledge and wisdom. And what he has performed in our clinic in, in a good state. We expect somebody like him to be there. He has rebuilt a boy as he promised. Then he maintained another wonderful pace, pace of peace. In Ebony, we do not say you come from uh, north, you come from central, you come from south. No. We know ourselves as Ebonians. That is a wonderful achievement. I fulfill so many promises made for us because he have already renovated the Ebony state to be in a high grade. So he's a man of work. Uh, he has already opened the eyes of Ebonians and they have seen something which I have never seen before. So we promise that we shall support him. One of the areas the governor has changed Eboin State greatly 
is the rating of the state in fiscal performance by budget office. That is a public data science organization that uses tech tools to simplify the budget and matters of public spending for citizens with the primary aim of raising standard of transparency and accountability in government. Budget also engage in fiscal analysis with ratings of the sub-nationals and federal government. After the assessment of how the 36 states of the Federation generate funds through IGR, that and what they receive from statutory federal allocation, as well as how those receipts are used in the payment of salaries and other operating expenditures in 2021, a Boeing state took a quantum leap in fiscal performance and ranked second in overall performance. This most recent report and ranking assessment covered four major areas in the overall ranking. On the first level of assessment of states with greater viability and that are comparatively less dependent on federally distributed revenue for their operations, a Boeing state ranked fourth in Nigeria. This shows that a Boeing state is on the path of economic prosperity. This rating is made possible by his policy direction, fiscal responsibility, transparency, accountability, and deep sense of responsibility in the allocation of scarce resources to execute projects that impact on the economy of the state. The international market built for the market men and women, the shopping mall built for the corporate business men and women, The University of Medical Sciences, which is a world-class academic cum healthcare delivery institution, the numerous agro-industries, the international airport that will be one of the three biggest in Nigeria, the network of concrete roads and twin flyovers, and the beautiful environment created for creative industries. The empowerment and education programs, among others, are leading examples of life-touching programs that count for the state. On the second level of assessment, first and second, a Boeing state ranked first in the state's ability to cover all operating expenses and loan repayment obligations without resorting to borrowing. Ranking high in this aspect means a Boeing state has comparatively more public revenue left to invest in capital infrastructure after fulfilling repayment obligations to lenders and government operating expenses. This no wonder has been seen in many projects that litter the state. A Boeing state governor, engineer David Mweze Umahi, has shown remarkable commitment in this regard. A Boeing state under him has seen the advent of about 14 epoch-making twin flyover bridges across the state. There is the Akonibim Junction flyover, the Dr. Ofianwale flyover, the International Market flyover, Prince Arthur Eze flyover, Ume Kumeni twin flyover, Umunaga Uburu flyover, King David University flyover, the Iyere Edda flyover, among many others. These are aesthetically designed to throw off traffic and accidents on the roads, and these shall attract industrialization, enhance transportation of goods and services, attract investors in tourism, creative industry, agriculture, and solid mineral development. The Iyere twin flyover in Edda, when completed, will remain a marvel and beauty to behold, just like the President Mohamed Buhari four-way light tunnel, which is second to none in Africa and is symbolically the new face of a Boeing state, having four-way links to the major facilities of the state, including the Africa's biggest shopping mall, the Christian Ecumenical Center, the Margaret Omahi International Market, Africa's biggest water fountain underneath, new state secretariat, international airport, among others.